It's frustrating that the boards are still up and people don't know that we're open. We need to double check that. Correct. And then you have the balloons going to this address. For Jim McCoy and his wife, Martha, Tuesday brought more frustrations. Operating in the midst of a pandemic and protests, their walk-up business at the corner of West Market Street has plummeted 80%. So, ah, what about Mimi is surviving on deliveries? But on Tuesday, the McCoys made the decision to only do two. We had a couple of already committed and we'll honor those, but we just wanted to make sure that everybody stays safe. Their decision to cancel deliveries and close a few hours early came amid speculation of more protests and a heightened police presence expected. Duluth Trading Company also decided to close early, but on that same block, known as Whiskey Row, most restaurants chose to stay open. Extra cheese, what else? The owner of Beer Nose wanted his workers to be able to get their hours and customers, many who work at hospitals, to be able to order lunch. But he also made it clear he was ready to close if need be. There's been a couple times where we've closed early for safety, but unless the unless the unless it's imminent, we're doing our best to stay positive and be open for business. And in Nulu, where protesters took to the streets just weeks ago, several more businesses deciding to close up early and at least one making the decision to not even open at all. Management at La Bodeguita spent the day canceling Tuesday's reservations, telling WLKY their staff safety was of the utmost importance. Muse Candies plan to close a few hours early. Scott Hearman was given that option, but decided to keep the doors to the weekly juicery open. I don't feel unsafe. I'm happy to work. I'm happy to provide our service to our customers. And it's his customers, Jim McCoy hopes, will understand. We just want to be safe and keep our employees safe and uh, keep our customers satisfied. And then they understand that we're doing the best we can. Lauren Adams, WLKY News.